Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm continuing on with my inventory series. Today's a bit of a hodgepodge, a hodgepodge of items. It is brow products, mascaras, eyeshadow primers, that kind of thing. Not the most interesting categories to be fair, but look, has to be done, has to be done. So let's get started. Let me start with the brow products. Uh, first up is from Revolution. It is the brow powder um, in ash brown. So it's one of these stampy things with um, stencils. I saw it on Effie May's channel. I thought I'd give it a go because my brows are awful. Look, it's, it's hard to use, I won't lie. The problem with this is I get the concept, but first of all, the stencils are all too big for my face. I can't find any that are a bit, you know, smaller for my face. Also, so you have the shadow in here and you have the little sponge doodah here. So you're doing your brow, but you might run out of powder halfway through. And it's nigh impossible with one hand still holding on to your stencil to try and get this back on here. Get the powder, get it off. and it get... It's a bit foostery, as we say here. Um... So I'm going to keep it because I want to keep playing around with it. Um, I have my, my stencils and stuff here. So I'm going to keep it and see if I can make a work for myself. But um, I'm not too uh, hopeful <laughs> that it is going to work. Uh, I have currently three brow pencils in my collection. I have this one from Penny's. Or no, it's not. It's from Essence actually. Isn't it? Or is it from Penny's? Oh no, it's from the brand Collection, which is in Boots. It's one of Boots' sub kind of brands. Incredi Brow. Uh, in the shade... Is there a shade on it? Mm, I don't know. This shade here. I was kind of looking for something a bit lighter because I find a lot of the shades lately are quite dark. Um, I've just done my eyeliner videos. <laughs> my hand is full of swatches. This is what it looks like. My problem with this is, so you push, I haven't much left actually. Hopefully I'll have this finished by the end of the year. You push this up, you go to put in your brow and then the product just scrolls back down again. The, 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 the mechanicism isn't working properly. It's just a bit of a mess. And it's very creamy and very soft. So even when you brush it out, it nearly brushes the product all over the place if that makes sense um but it's nearly done so but i won't repurchase it uh one that is a repurchase for me is from catrice it is the slimmatic ultra precise uh brow pencil in the shade dark did i get dark didn't mean to get dark shit <laughs> oopsies is it very dark because uh, this is my first time opening it since getting it bit of a drier formula has a lovely skinny little uh pencil on it which i enjoy for my teeny tiny brows there it is there so it is, oh gosh it is a bit dark but not too dark it's not like dark brown or anything uh also i have the she glam um eyeliner pencil and pen so we have a skinny pencil on one side of it it's actually a nice product but i won't be repurchasing because i'm not purchasing from this brand anymore if you're curious kelly gooch did a video on it which is quite interesting um but yes yeah, so it has a little marker on the other side which i've been trying to use more of and sometimes i can get them to work fantastic and they look really nice and other times i'm like oh no what did i do so anyway three brow pencils uh a brow powder what else have i still got in the brow category i only have two brow gels and i need to purchase another one because this one was a dud uh, this is the CBD brow gel um, from Primark and it is a clear one. I'm not a big fan of clear products, I'll be honest. I just don't do much. I need a little bit of colour in my brow product. So I purchased this one. This is the Fibre Brow Gel. Keep it full. Fill. Full. Keep it full. <laughs> Fibre Brow Gel um, from Primark. But it's got a gorgeous teeny tiny brush but it's too long. Um, so when I tried to put it through, I'm like, oh no, I need it to be like, maybe I should just snip the end of it off, I don't know. I need it to be about half the size for my little, titchy little brows. Um, so a bit of a dot, so I need to purchase a new one, but I'll keep using them until I find one that I'm looking for. Uh, eye primers, let's do them next, because let's be honest, some scars are the most boring probably. So I have this Vive, it's, it's technically an eye wand, but it's in the shade Sand and I feel like it'll be a good uh, colour for me as a product for my, or for, as an eye primer. There it is there. So it's a nice uh, matte kind of shade, nice and creamy, blends out nicely. 
seems to work nicely for me. Uh, the one I'm currently using is from e.l.f. It is the Potty Eye Primer and I would have repurchased this, repurchased this but they've stopped doing it which is a pity. This is all I have left. Still a good bit left. I just hope to finish it by the end of the year but I'd say I'll be, be pushing it. Um, it is in the shade uh, Cream. Um, and the reason I like these kind of primers, I don't like the Urban Decay Primer Potion things like that. As I've said in multiple videos, I have very sensitive eyes and um, certain eyeshadows can even make them feel funny. Um, kind of like, a, not burning, but a cold burn. I don't know if it makes sense. I just get the odd, I have the oddest eyelids. And um, I need a thicker base so that there's a barrier essentially between eyeshadow and my lid. And that's why I like a thicker um, primer. One I recently purchased, thanks to Deb, because she said this is the one that she just constantly goes back to. It is the Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Painterly. This is what it looks like. I've only used it once or twice. And yes, it does seem to be quite nice. I can see why everybody loves it. So that is in my collection. So I have three of those kind of primers. I have a glitter primer from NYX. Uh, best one that I've used and most affordable. And then I have an Inglot Dura line as well. I know it's not an eye primer, but I use it for mixing shadows and, you know, stuff like that. Turn them into liners, hydrating eye primers, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So it's nearly gone, actually. I'll be due a refresh soon, I think. So that is the eye primer. So we are on to mascaras. I currently have this one open, Double Trouble. This will be finished soon. I feel like it's starting to dry out. It is from Catrice. I have Essence. I should show you the wand. I won't show you the ones in all of them because they're not all open. So it has one side is longer and one side has kind of buttier kind of um, brush. It's a fat, uh, natural bristle brush and you kind of do one side and then the other side. It's okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. Typically I get waterproof as well because, again, like I said, watery eyes. Um, I have the Essence, no, yes, the Essence Sensitive But Wow uh, Volume Mascara. So it's supposed to be for sensitive eyes, which I have. Look, it, it, it's it's a mascara. It makes my lashes black, but other than that, I don't find it to be that great, but I will use it. Um, another natural bristle wand. Typically, what I like to do is actually cocktail mascaras. I like to put on initially a bristle wand mascara and then go with a plastic wand to kind of comb it through and typically be a waterproof kind of version. So, ones, little ones that I have to use up are Tarte Man Eater. I haven't opened it, so I'm not going to open these because, you know, trying to keep them alive for as long as possible. It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. I have Too Faced Damn Girl. I have... Uh, are you a you are? Anastasia Beverly Hills something mascara. There it is there. I have one from Suzanne Jackson. It is the High Rise Mascara. I know of a lot. I've been very blessed in that my lovely American friends and compatriots have, not compatriots, because my lovely friends uh, in America have sent me samples and travel size mascaras and I'm just eternally grateful. Uh, Bare Minerals Lash Topia. And then the last one is Smashbox Super Fan. Fanned out mascara. This one here. So I have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, essentially, because they're, they're open, but they'll be used up at the end of the year. But yeah, I have some mascaras to keep me going for next year. I'm very happy with that. So that is them. And then lastly, we have the little declutter pile. There isn't much, because I kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't. I try not to overbind this range anymore. Uh, I have two clear ones and I just, I don't use clear mascaras. They just, I need something, even if I'm doing no makeup makeup or whatever, I like to have a little bit of a tint. I need something. So this is the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. So you can see it's clear. I haven't used that at all. And this is from Catrice. It is the Lash Brow Designer Shaping and Conditioning Mascara Gel. Lash and brow, yeah. And it just, it just eeks me out as well when it starts to turn colour. I know it's stupid, but it just... At least with this, I can't see it. At... <laughs> this is a good one in that, like, you've one really... You probably can't see. One side has just got a really long uh, 
bristle and the other side is quite short so you can use kind of the longer side for your lashes and the shorter side for your brows but just I need something more than that and lastly I have a little kiss palette here that I bought and I shouldn't have bought it it is the brow powder brow wax palette in medium brown so it has a, a kind of a wax and then three shades so two are kind of brow shades and one is a kind of a highlight brow highlight shade I shouldn't have bought it I just shouldn't have bought it as simple as that I think I bought it actually because it had some stencils with it if I'm not mistaken could have been a big part of it um and they yeah I was just trying out things just trying to find an easier way to do my brows I find them to be quite a tedious and um boring part of my collection so yeah that's gone I don't need it I shouldn't have bought it it is what it is I want to purchase that kind of product again so only a small little declutter when it comes to brows and primers and mascara products yeah so I know this wasn't the most exciting but I would like to know like I said the things that I asked there your favorite mascara for really sensitive watery eyes your favorite brow product for really thin non-existent brows and your favourite eye primer for helping sensitive eyes have a barrier between. But I think I'm okay now for eye primers. But yeah, I'm always curious to know. Please, please, please let me know down below. That is it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, maybe, kind of. Um, and hopefully I'll chat you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Sloan.